Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited for today's makeup look because I will be recreating a very highly requested look that I recently did for an impromptu at home photo shoot. I love the way these photos turned out so much. I felt like I needed to do a very in-depth detailed tutorial for you guys. My friend Sabelle is an amazing photographer. She took these shots on film and my girl Jen Legrand did my hair that day for the shoot. I had her come over today because I felt like I needed to have that exact hair that I had at the shoot to really get it to the vibe of this makeup look. I'm really gonna be focusing on building up my eyes, skin, and lips for today's tutorial, but if you guys are interested in seeing how I got this initial makeup look, make sure to check out my 2020 Soft Glam makeup tutorial. So I just wanna start off by really building up this color in the inner corner of my eye, so I will need to go in a few times just to get it as bright as I want it. Now I'm just going in with a clean blending brush and I'm just softly blending the edges. I still want it to look really opaque and dense in the center where I've placed it, but the outer edges need to look soft. So that's where this clean blending brush comes in. This one is by Trend Mood and Sigma. Amazing collab. I love how soft this brush is. I use the Electric Yellow and Lime from the Norvina ABH collection. This is such an easy eyeliner to use. Um, all you need to do is activate it with a setting spray. So I have Fix Plus right here. I'm gonna go ahead and just use this one. Any setting spray will do. You wanna just take it and spray it directly into the pot or you could scrape some out, put it on a little dish and do it that way if you work with clients. This is only used on me, so I'm just gonna go directly into the container. I'm actually gonna spray the yellow and the green because I might mix them. Not sure yet. For brushes, pretty much the only brush you're going to need to create these lines is the Spectrum A09 brush. I'm just gonna mix the two like this because this is my own and I can do that. <laughs> I do like to use the back of my hand to blend the two colors out. So use whatever is best for you. And I also like to get the brush pretty flat by using my hand. So you could do this on a little dish or your hand, it's just preference. So holding the brush pretty flat, getting as close to my lash line as I can, I'm just gonna create a very thin line. And same thing on the other side, I'm just gonna hold the brush very close to my lash line and slowly make a straight line. And the brush that I'm using makes that very easy to do, so I highly recommend getting this pointed brush from Spectrum A09. I'll link all products down below. So I basically brought that line halfway. Now we're gonna create another line on the bottom. You do wanna start with a black wing liner like I have here, so I highly recommend watching my 2020 Soft Glam Makeup tutorial so you can see how I did this wing to start with because it creates a really great base when you're trying to outline it with a bright eyeliner. So I don't want this line to be halfway, it's more like a quarter of the way, midway there. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that line started so you guys can see what I mean. These electric cake liners will dry up on you as you're using it, so you just wanna make sure that they are nice and wet so the formula will just glide on your eyes. Okay, so using this black wing liner as my guide, I'm just gonna go right underneath it and start building this up. You can see the first time I did it, it was a little dry on me, so I do need to go in and build it up. It might take two tries to get it nice and opaque. So same thing on this side, I'm just using the wing liner that I have here as a guide. To complete this graphic eyeliner look, I basically need to create a line that is pretty straight going halfway towards the inner part of my eye. So, wish me we wanna start this neon graphic line where the tip of my wing liner ends. So we're gonna start there and with a very slow and steady hand, I'm going to create a straight line. My eyes are a bit rounded, so it is a little bit harder to keep that line straight. If it's a little bit curved, that's okay too. I like both of the looks. Just going back in to darken this up a little bit and make the line pop a little bit more. Pretty happy with the way this looks, just need to match it on the other side. So we're gonna repeat the exact same steps. 
So same thing on the other side, using the tail end of my wing liner as a guide, that's where I'm going to start. And with a slow and steady hand, I'm gonna start creating a very straight line. The slower the better, slow and steady wins the race, guys. Remember that. You definitely don't want to rush this step. Just going over this line to make it nice and opaque. Sometimes it takes two coats. To be honest, I don't even have any makeup remover on these Q-tips. I like to start off by removing it while it's still wet. Usually you can go ahead and wipe it without makeup remover. But if you feel the need to use makeup remover, go at it. I just like to use it dry first to see what I can do with the actual Q-tip. I feel like I need to go over the black liner that I started off with just to make it pop more. And I'm also gonna be using the same liquid pen eyeliner to coat my lashes with. And then I'll go on top of it with mascara just to make sure that I've gotten all of that neon eyeliner off of my lashes. So starting with this little inner corner part, I, I do realize that I put shadow in the inner corner. We built on top of this look. So this needs to be really crisp and fresh. I'm going to start off by just darkening up this inner corner point that I have here. So you can basically go in and use this eyeliner to paint each lash that has any green eyeliner on it. I like to do this first, then I will go in with mascara. So much better. And we've got to do these bottom lashes as well. So I'm just coating my lashes top, bottom, anywhere that I see any leftover green liner, we are going to take care of that right now. With this look, you could finish it off with individual lashes or even a strip lash, but to make it a little more editorial, I do like to stick to mascara for this look. Because we went bright on my eyes, we might as well go a little bright on my cheeks too, just to give this look even more life. I'm gonna be using this Fenty Cream Blush in the shade Fuego Flush. It's a beautiful orangey shade. So I'm also gonna take my Beauty Blender and just get it a little bit damp with this Fix Plus by MAC. Um, I like to test the consistency on the back of my hand first, just bouncing the sponge on my hand just to see how it feels and how wet it is. You don't want it too wet. Now that it's a little bit damp, I'm gonna go ahead and apply this directly on a face. This blush has a little bit of a glow to it, has a nice sheen. I do love cream products on the cheeks because it just adds like this gorgeous glow and it makes your face look so youthful and fresh. <laughs> and yes, I am bringing blush all the way up here. Sometimes I like to kind of mix my blush in different areas of my face just to make everything cohesive. So I'm just smiling and I'm using the end of the Beauty Blender just to bounce this on my cheeks. I do love that there's no brush strokes when you use a Beauty Blender. I feel like it goes on pretty flawless. Okay, so moving on to lips, I'm gonna be using this KKW Lip Liner in the shade 1.5. I'm just gonna follow my natural lip shape and you will start to see me softly overdraw my lips using the 1.5 Nude Lip Liner. This is such a great lip liner to use. I love the KKW formula. It is very long wearing, it lasts all day. I know when I use these lip liners, I don't really have to touch up my lip as much. And another trick that I like to do is use a even lighter shade for the center of your lips, fill it in entirely, and I promise you it is not going to move. I'm just gonna start off by blending out this lip liner line that I have going on right here with the number 318 MAC Lip Brush. Now taking the shade Fly Girl from Buxom, I'm just gonna start patting this into the center of my lips. I just love the way this nude lip looks. I feel like it really ties in the whole look with the eyes and the blush and the skin. It's just exactly what this look needed to finish it off. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this tutorial. So this completes today's graphic neon liner tutorial. Let me know in the comments below if you would recreate this look. And if you do, please tag me so I can repost you. And of course, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Mindset. It's all about mindset. From the moment you wake up, 
to the moment you rest your head at night. Everything is up to you. Your emotions, your thoughts, your perceptions, your reactions, every moment.